All right. Well, we're here with uh, Justin Scoggins, and and really, there's just no way to uh, easy way to put it, I guess. I mean, we were on the eve of you fighting Ian McCall at USC 201, but the bottom line is that's just not going to happen now. You had to make the call. Not going to be able to make weight out of the fight. Tell us just kind of how you're feeling right now. Uh, it's a pretty crappy feeling, you know. Uh, I've had to pull out of fights before because of injury. Uh, this is the first one where you got to pull out because of it's really safety issues, health issues, you know. So, uh, you know, it's definitely, I understand my body and I understand uh, the growth of it and what I need to keep myself healthy, so to speak. But um, it's definitely just sucks for the fans because I know the fans were looking forward to it. And I was looking forward to putting on a show, and uh, you try to come to an agreement, but uh, you know maybe do a catch weight or do a bantam weight fight. But business is business, you know. I, I I have no animosity towards Ian. You know he's just handling it like a business, like a smart person would. So, you know we just kind of go back to the drawing board. We uh, go up to a more natural weight class, and you know you pick up and go from there. It's funny because I saw you a few hours earlier today and at the media session, you kind of brought out, you know, hey, after this fight, I'm thinking about maybe I'll go to Bantamweight. So mm. I'm guessing this is something that's not, you know, just happening right now. Is this, is this a move that you've been thinking about and has this weight cut been getting harder for you as, as you've been getting older? Yeah, man. Uh, actually, dude, when I was a sophomore in high school, I wrestled 135 pounds. That's what I wrestled when I was 16 years old. And when I started, uh, you know, I've won world championships kickboxing when I was like, 17, 18 at uh, like 140 pounds, stuff like that. So, you know, the, the weight cutting thing, it started becoming more prevalent in my later, my later years as a professional in MMA just because, you know, everybody tells you, oh, everybody's doing it, everybody's doing it. It's almost like peer pressure, you know. And you do it once and you kind of feel that strength over the smaller men and, you know, it's definitely a good feeling and stuff, but it catches up to you and it... Uh, it's not. It's not. It's not good for certain people. It's once you're too big for a weight class, you're too big for a weight class, and you gotta you gotta assess the situation and do what's right for your growth physically, especially being you know I'm, I'm 24, so I know I'm still growing, and I want to maximize that growth. I don't want to mess my body up, and I want to be healthy, and I want to give the fans good performances, 100% performances for you know as long as I can. Can you tell you, I mean, how far off were you and, and I mean, how close did it come and, and what was it that triggered you to say, I'm just not going to be able to make it? Well, uh, I monitor, oh, I get my body fat percentage monitored just to make sure that, uh, that I'm healthy and at a healthy weight. And I was uh, getting down to like the 3% body fat, like close to 2% body fat margin. And, you know, I'm out here in Atlanta running around, do, you know, put it in like, eight miles, you know, running, so I wasn't really sweating at all, and, you know, it was just kind of getting in my head, and getting, getting, my head getting just flighty and, and loose and stuff, and, you know, no more sweat coming out, so, uh, yeah, I mean, there just wasn't, there wasn't anything, there's nothing left to cut, you know what I mean, and so I, I, I uh, talked to my managers, I talked to my physicians, and uh, we tried to get a catch weight or a bantam weight fight. You know, we tried to let them know early enough, but like I said, it's business is business, so it didn't work out, so we'll, we'll be 135 from now on. And I guess to be clear, I had heard you were, I mean, you were still at like 132, 133, is that right? I mean, you still had quite a bit. It's not like you were just a pound away and like, I can't do this anymore, right? I mean, there was still quite a bit to go. Yeah, and I actually like, uh, I did uh, a couple a couple sweats, try to get a couple sweats in this morning and I, I couldn't get below about like 132 and a half, I think was the lo lowest I could get. So I, I was trying to get below that. My body wouldn't let me get below that. Uh, and I hadn't had a meal in like two days, you know what I mean? You know, you're running really low on water and it's just no more fuel to go, no more, no more, no more fuel to burn, you know? So it's, it sucks, man. And, but you live and you learn. So definitely making it official. You're moving to Bantamweight, moving forward, never going to try this again. Yeah, absolutely. Bantamweight's where it's at, you know what I mean? I don't ever want to have this feeling again. I, I don't ever want to uh, crap the fans out of a good fight, you know, you know that sucks. But um, I'm definitely going to be back as soon as possible, you know, and get back in there and give them hell at 135. Nice. 
And uh, I guess ultimately at the end of the day, you just want people to know that, that this was a safety concern, right? I mean, we talked about it a little bit before we ha had a chance to turn the camera on. I think your long-term health was really the ultimate guide in you making this decision. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm 24 years old. I, uh, I love martial arts. I love the art of this, and I do it because it's fun. And I like to give the fans 100% Justin Scoggins, you know, and for a while now, it's been really hard for me to give everybody 100% of myself because I've been giving a lot of my energy into a weight cut that, you know, it eats your muscle up, it eats your brain up, and, you know, I've dealt with concussions in the past, so uh, I don't want to do anything to myself that's going to last forever, last a lifetime. I plan on doing this for a long time, and I want to do it the smartest way and the healthiest way possible, and I advise everybody, you know, to... You know, if you're going to cut weight, make sure you do it the right way. And, you know, if, if, you don't, if you're skilled enough to where you don't need to cut weight just to, so you can fight smaller men, don't let anybody convince you that you need to do that. You know what I mean? You do what you feel is right. You fight at the weight class that you feel you compete best at, and, you know, you go from there. Well, I know this is a tough time for you, so we won't take too much of it. I, I imagine you want to uh, rehydrate and mm -hmm. uh, deal, deal with things on your own. But any other last thoughts or, or messages that you'd like to make sure the fans get or that you just you want to send out there? Uh, yeah, everybody, you know, just uh, I appreciate all the support and the continued support. So, uh, you know, I hope to be back in here really soon. Y'all get, you know, get to the UFC, get to uh, all the guys that uh, work with the matchmaking stuff and let them know that uh, y'all want to see me back in there at Bantamweight and y'all are excited to see me in there because I'm excited to give y'all a show and sorry it didn't work out this time.